is now the 20th of the 6th, 2020, so today is day 2 of my face mask experiment. So I'm not expecting to see any physical changes yet, but um, just some feedback from yesterday. So I applied it to my face yesterday and like I mentioned there was like some tingly tightness feeling that happened when I had it on my face and when I washed it off after. So that lasted pretty much all day. Um, I was supposed to wash my face with my normal soap in the night and with my um, electrical face wash, but um, face wash machine thing, but I didn't do that. I just went to bed and I woke up. So right now my face still feels really, really smooth, like baby skin smooth, but we're going to start again. So this time around I've just got my spray bottle with me in advance and I have put a bit of rose water in my spray bottle, um, just to make it a little bit different, try something different today. So we're just going to start applying. Oh, by the way, this smells amazing. It's really strong, but like it's fragrant in the whole house and every time the fridge opens, boom. because I have bed hair marks from when I try to pick up my bed hair. I'm using one hand because I have to use my phone after that, but you can use two. Just finished washing my face, it's still wet, so I'm just gonna dry with my towel. So yeah, I definitely think the form feels a bit stronger today. <laughs> like my eyes were a bit not running but getting there, getting that watery feeling. Um so stay well away from your eyes. I'm just gonna do exactly what I done yesterday with this. Nearly finished. So once this is done, I'm gonna find something else today. Just turn it. Like I said, the, um, because the amount of cabbage oil that I put in my formula, my face doesn't feel dry after. It actually feels soft. Even if this doesn't work, just the ritual of doing it feels really good. I'm not gonna lie to you. I've done this with my cousin, but it's good for me too. Thank you, girl. There's so much in there, I actually use this up. I've had this one for a while for my makeup and then I didn't actually use it. It's supposed to be a pep and primer. Good 
morning, it is day 3 and I have an update since yesterday, so yesterday about 10 minutes after I treated my face, I was in the mirror and so much stuff came out, I mean the blackheads were so visible, that I could just done that with my hands like all over my face and so much stuff came out, um, even some deep rooted blackheads, whiteheads and, I don't know if you can see that, but I had like two skin tag warts there and they were quite big, they kind of felt softer and they came off, so Rome was a bit of a day. So I will be applying the treatment, doing the same thing I done yesterday, same products, and then I'm just gonna go back at it again and get some more out, and hopefully we'll be clear by the end of the week. So let's get to it. It's nice a lot better now, because the limo is like really the main thing you can smell. Just a disclaimer, obviously because I put all that crap that came out of my face, um, then I had to like, it made my hands and my face dirty, so then I just wet the iPad and put some rubbing alcohol on it to like clean that back out and just left it. It stung like a bitch. But I definitely did wash my face last night because I went outside twice. And I just used my normal rose face scrub from Colin Barrett's. And I applied some vitamin C cream from the body shop. And even in the afternoon, well, even in the night. And I applied the Vimsy cream. That stung a bit as well because I guess the pore was open and the flesh was a bit sore. But we move. I think I will come back when I do my um, session of, you know, with my fingers and rubbing out more stuff out my face and show you the results then. Stay tuned. So I've just washed my face off in the shower and had a quick shower and um, done some of the extra stretching and things with my fingers. Um, we have some improvement, but it's these away because I didn't get to do as much as I've done yesterday. But I don't know if you can see that. Now it looks like I've got a hole in my face. That was like a deep rooted black head wall, whatever you want to call it. And like quite a bit of it came out, so maybe by tomorrow more will come out. And then my face looks a bit red, but the red areas are where there's like deeper stuff. Something came out. And I've got really stubborn ones like this. That's not really not that. This that's not really going anywhere. But tomorrow's another day. Good morning, it is day four, it is the 22nd of June. And I'm gonna plan my face scrub again and it's the first day of my base. It is not 7 30 in the morning, it's currently 10 40 something. No, it's quite late. Um, but I'm going to prevail. And there's half days today, so when I said to see you sleeping, I went back and she wasn't sleeping, so I went back in on my face. Doing the, and there's like a black head here. It's like really red, but it's like a hole in my face now. But it was really deep, and I thought that would never ever go away. It's been there for years. And so much crap came out of it that I was just like, Ooh. I don't know if any more is going to come out of it, but I'm going to keep prevailing on that one. But um, yeah, I've just got some red marks in my face. Funny, because I was designed this to get rid of the marks in my face and have more marks in my face. But um, the red marks are just where the deep black heads came out still, so... And white heads and stuff like that came out, so, you know, I look a bit raw, but... It's exciting, it's exciting. I'm just going to start applying to my face. Um, I didn't wash my face last night again. Little teeny, little teeny, little teeny. Um, I actually think it might be a bit too harsh using the two of them together, using this and then my normal scrub. Um, my normal scrub is quite um, exfoliating and has that, that grainy, grainy texture. And even this doesn't have that texture, like doing the two of them on my face in one day. Mm. So I think I'm going to replace it when I do wash my face with just a gentle 
still the rose water, but they have like a face wash version that's like foamy. So I'm just gonna use that in the evening instead. I'll just keep that I haven't had any fresh breakouts, like I've had like a few whiteheads come up, but I've not had any fresh spots in the last couple of days. Mm. Is that a thing? Is that a thing? I'm so tempted to put this on my neck, like I have those like dark warm spots on the head on my neck. I'm so tempted, but it's so close to my boobs and I'm better eating that. I don't want to be that way yet. For now, I'll just do it on my face, but maybe later on. Instead, so I can't start the time off today, so I'm just gonna wash my hands. I'll come back to start my time. We have started our 15 minutes. Mm. So, you've just watched all that, and mm. let me give you the honest, mm. honest, honest feedback from the, that week. So, after those four days, I felt a bit like discouraged, and I kind of fell off. I fell off because my face was sore and it needed a break because of all my yeah don't do that don't do that too much like I forgot that my face bruises easy and I went ham on my face and my face was red raw so it needed a break and then I felt like maybe it didn't work like the scrub didn't work and then I remembered actually it did work before I fasted it so I've been trying it again on and off when I have the time to wash my face. If I wake up before Zuri, it gets done. If I don't and I sleep in, it kind of still gets done depending on the day. Didn't do it yesterday and I haven't even done it today. So I'll probably do it before I go to bed today. But um, my honest review of my own face scrub is I think it works. Like It didn't work for what I want it to work, but I'm going to give it more time. So I'm going to do an updated video of what happens once it's all finished and if I'm going to change a formula if I'm going to try a new scrub stay tuned and make sure you subscribe comment below if you've done something similar before or if you're willing to try this and we love you bye say bye Z say bye Z